Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShark.com, ElectronicLessons.com, and PaintballProps.com. This is project number 15 for our multi-project electronics learning board. We are at the three-quarter three quarter mark, and uh, this is the voice amplifier. So we're going to take our voice, uh, couple the audio signal from our voice from our microphone, amplify it, and then send it out through our speaker driver. So let's go through the blocks. Again, if you haven't watched all of the tutorial videos or you haven't been following along with all of the projects, uh, it would really, really help you to understand how these circuits are working. That said, let's move on. On our sensor block, uh, what you need to do first of all is to select your microphone on your sensor, uh, sensor pin block. We'll do that in a minute on the board. Um, and that will give us this circuit if we use, choose to use our AC output, which uh, we also have a sense output on the sensor block, but we're not going to use that for this project. We're going to use our AC output. So what we've got here, our 10K protective, a 10K ohm protective uh, resistor and our microphone. Now on, this, on uh, this side we have a big DC component. DC component is talked about in other videos. We want to couple just the AC, just the AC yeah, here. See, if we have 0 volts and 5 volts here, we'll see a DC component. And when we speak into the mic, we might see a quite a variant on the DC line. But we can't use that. We need to couple that. And what we use is what's called a coupling capacitor. A uh, 0.1 microfarad ceramic capacitor will do. And if you notice, there is actually a nothing in the middle of the schematic symbol that helps you to, you know, it's kind of an indicator, at least for me, a helper to know that that will block this DC component. And what we'll see here is, if this is zero volts, the audio, a very small audio signal representative of your voice riding the zero volt line. So obviously we can't do anything with that. We need to amplify it. Before we amplify, let's talk about this resistor. That 10K pull down resistor is a bleeder resistor. It bleeds off any uh, ambient uh, noise power on that line. Uh, and it's very much necessary when we connect our AC pin on our main pin block to our input, or sorry, to our a1 plus input, which is the positive input of our first of two audio amplifiers. So, or sorry, audio amplifiers, operational amplifiers. Non-inverting operational amplifier. That will turn this into this. A much, a much uh, more amplified signal. That will depend on our gain. And we have a gain resistor uh, on the board, a variable resistor. We can tune. Uh, it's 100k ohms. So we can set our gain to between 1 and 101. <coughs> if you haven't seen the operational amplifier tutorial, it is linked below. That will help you to understand. So just by tuning this resistor, we can make our voice amplified uh, amplification stronger or softer. So we're essentially changing the volume and the detection of the mic. So the sensitivity, rather, of the circuit. So what we'll do after that is we'll take our output, we're labeled A1 out on our, on our primary sensor block and we'll connect it to our actuator pin. Now in the last few videos we've been using our speaker a lot, so hopefully if you're following along you'll know how to connect your speaker to the actuator block. This is our transistor driver, NPN2N2222. This is our protective 1K ohm resistor. Now we've got our speaker peripheral, and our speaker peripheral has two wires. Uh, there's no polarity on the speaker. We have to connect one side to our 5 volt line, which is our VCC, our power supply line, and that can be found on the power supply pin block. There are many places where you can connect 5 volts. So, the second wire needs to be connected here. So what we do here is we actually, on our, on our actuator pin block, we'll take off all, we'll take off uh, this two pin shorting jumper so that all, all six pins are empty. The bottom pins are actually sh shorted together inside, and what we'll do is we'll t connect this pin to any one of these on the bottom, which is actually connected here. So we'll do that uh, right now, actually. We'll, we'll break out our learning board, and we'll connect this all together. We'll experiment with the gain, and maybe I'll even break out the oscilloscope. Our microphone is right here, and our sensor pin block is right here. So what I have to do is I have to remove the jumper. I had it on v on a... Uh, on LDR, I'm going to put it on the mic, MIC pins, the leftmost pins, and I'm going to short those pins. Now we've selected our microphone. So what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to show you my oscilloscope, and I'm going to show you what we see on our uh, before the coupling capacitor and after the, after the coupling capacitor. 
So what you see here is the voltage line before we've AC coupled it, before we've gotten rid of the DC component. And we've got a few volts there. Now you can actually see some variations riding the DC signal. I, I call it surfing. Surfing the DC signal. But we want or the DC component. So that AC signal is on top, riding it, surfing it. So we want to get rid of that DC component. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect up my sense line, and then I'm going to, or sorry, my AC line, uh, as talked about in our schematic, and we're going to see what the AC coupled line looks like. Now we've gotten rid of that voltage. It's that sitting at zero volts. Hello! Hello! So there you go. Now we want to amplify that because that's a very low voltage. So let's complete our circuit. Okay. So we're going to take our AC pin, our, our DC, our AC coupled signal, and we're going to connect it to our A1 plus line, which is the input of our, our first audio amplifier. And then we're going to take our A1 L pin, and first of all, we'll just connect to an LED just to see if we can <clears throat> see, just so we can help calibrate our gain. Hello! By actually hitting the microphone, you can actually see it in a, a light representation, but we don't actually need to do that. What we are going to do now is we're going to connect from the LED to the ACT pin, the actuator pin. Now there's nothing on our actuator pin block right now, so that's what we want. We want to take our speaker peripheral, connect one line to any pin on the bottom side of the rail, and connect the other one to VCC, 5 volts, on our power supply line. Now we can tune, use this resistor, variable resistor gain 1, to adjust the gain to up the volume and lower the volume. Let's give it a try. Hello. 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 Pretty neat. So I can lower the gain by turning it right. Hello, 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 hello. I can hear it a little bit because it's right beside my face. But as you can see, I've turned the volume way down because I've turned the amplification way down. Now let's turn it left. A whole bunch. Hello, 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 hello. How you doing, guys? This is the amplified version of my voice. Anyhow, that's a low wattage speaker. Um, but just to show you one way of amplifying your voice. I think it's kind of neat, fun to do, so if you, uh, if you feel so inclined, you could do this on your own, or you could do this on the Electronics Learning Board. So thanks for watching, guys. We've got a few more projects to go. Stay tuned.